Hey everyone, it's me, and my game here to bring you my review for Kill a Kill Episode 9. Now, overall, this episode was a solid episode of Kill a Kill. It mainly focused on more so the first battle against the Elite Four, which was against, like, I believe it's Gamagi, is, is how you pronounce his name. Gamagori. Gamagori. Yeah, mainly focused on. on Ryoko's battle gets him, which was the first one. And overall, oh, it's a bit tough to actually talk about this episode, which it was primarily action based. The only really thing that happened, the main really big thing that happened in this episode is that Ryoko beat Gamagori, the, which is the first time she defeated. No, wait, actually, the second time she beat one of the members of the Elite Four. And. And it's looking like she's going to fight that cyberpunk dude in the next episode, which most likely, most likely that dude's power, it's going to be some sort of thing that has to, like some sort of cybernetic netic Goku suit. That is probably it. I don't see it any, being any other way with, mainly with the way he dresses and looks. It's definitely going to be like some sort of cyberish ish Goku suit. And I have a feeling towards looking like, and so of course it, it's looking like the fact that Uzu, the the member that she originally beat up of the Elite Four, then came back and kicked her ass. I have a feeling he's going to be the final, final member of the Elite Four. Ryoko goes up against. Now, I could be wrong about that, since we don't know much about that pink hair girl. But I have a feeling. Uzu is going to be the last person in the Elite Four Ryoko goes up against. Then she's going to fight Sakitsuki. And yeah, it's looking like I imagine. It's, I imagine there's going to be a bit of a twist that, no way, a massive twist that changes the course of the series when Ryoko fights Sakitsuki. I have a feeling by, like, if this was episode nine. By episode 13, I'm, if I'm right, then by episode 13, considering how 10, 11, and 12 will probably be against the other members of the Elite Four, Ryoko is going to probably fight Sakitsuki by episode 13 if she manages to more so win her next battles. That, I see that being the case. And Gamagori, we also get some good, we also get some character development. He's still my personal favorite member of the Elite Four. The fact that we get like a full back, a more in-depth backstory to on how he more so so became Sakitsuki's shield. Here's how more so the story went. When Sakitsuki was going to take over his school, he stood up to her wearing like this full, like pretty much wearing this ar armor covering his skin. And while Sakitsuki ended up destroying it, it she valued his resolve and asked him, she's building her a school that will become that she's going to turn into an army and will be ready in two years and ask him if she'll jo join her army more. So and it's looking like Gamagori was actually the first person to join the Elite Four. Though I don't know why, with the way it was, it seemed more thing if he was more so the last person of the Elite Four to be deal with. But it's looking like Uzu is searching from his flashback. He was the last. person member of the Elite Four to more so become one of the members. So yeah, overall, this was a... S no wait, one more thing I want to mention. About more so the power-up Ryoko got. Now, this is more of the plan that when Sugetsu, he more so c came up with to where the fact that Ryoko would more so now more so customize the clothing which would affect her abilities. I... I'm honestly not too sure how this works. I forgot if they actually explained it in the episode. Yeah, my bad there. But it did feel like it was one it did feel like it was one of those typical shonen like power ups to win a fight, but nonetheless it's looking like the fact that that Singitsu is more so so at least gaining some new abilities, which is a bit refreshing to see that way we won't really see like pulling a fucking Ishigo and doing the same shit for almost every battle. But yeah, overall, solid like killer kill episode. Tell me what you guys think of it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you somewhere in the middle? If you like this video, leave it a like. 
If you dislike it, leave it a dislike. And yeah, anyways, I'm Anime Gamer. Signing out. Peace.